means absolutely everything to me. I'm fortunate to be able to keep the momentum from the last fight. We're uh, sim simulating a high altitude training. Um, it's like sprinting on, a, in like if you're in a Tahoe or, or Colorado. So um, this is a Victor Victor Conti's product, and um, normally it's Michael Basil, my coach, uh, doing this like boxing. Since he is in the Philippines, I get uh, I'm very uh, fortunate to uh, to be his sub and training all the fighters like Casey, Morton, um, John, John, I mean uh, Anthony Johnson. Jonathan Chicas and uh, they are very fortunate to, to do what he does and experience w w what he do. Yeah, what's up with your lips? They, they turn a little blue. Um, I ran out of lip gloss, so I thought I thought the blue would be a, a good change. It's a real pleasure to work with Casey. She's such a, a positive go-getter. Uh, she has, in my opinion, the it factor, that intangible that uh, just means that uh, she's willing to do whatever it takes. And we've got her doing a whole spectrum of things now. Uh, she, she works with Mike Basil and does all the hypoxic training. Uh, she's on the track with Remy Corchimney, the world-renowned um, sprint coach, so she's training with him. Uh, she's really on a top-tier program, making great progress. Everybody loves Casey. She's got the whole package, including being very pretty. Oh, you know, Casey is great. I mean, she is so dedicated and hardworking. She puts her time in every day, um, just trying to master her craft and her conditioning and her boxing. And uh, there isn't someone that's more dedicated than Casey. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. What's up, she, you know, she's that's one thing me and Casey got in common. You know, we like to grind. We like to work hard. But you know, it goes for any undisputed fighter. To be an undisputed fighter, you gotta, you gotta have it. And you know, Mike Basil doesn't train on weak links. Um, Brian Schwartz doesn't allow no weak links. You know, so everybody in this gym is, is here because they earned it and they, you know, they have the respect of training hard and everybody in this gym pushes each other. We're a big team. So we all make sure we, everybody's on top of the game. How's your water intake? Good, how are you? Because that's what I'm dealing with right now is I'm, I'm doing two gallons of water right now. And my weight. Literally, since I started doing two gallons of water, I've lost five pounds just because you burn extra calories processing that water and going through your body. You know, it's early in her professional career, so she has a, uh, she's kind of building the team around her, the people that she wants to, you know, be with her for her, you know, for her career. And uh, the struggle for her right now, I think, is not having spar partners set, not having that schedule all the time set. It, you know, you get it where you can. And that can kind of conflict with the strength training schedule, right? She still has to work on her craft. She's a boxer. She's not a, she don't need to win any exercise competitions, you know? What I do as a strength trainer is try not to screw her up. Try to keep them healthy. Try to make them strong. Try to help them with the recovery. Try to help them with the, as they taper. Try to help them as they peak. Try to help them as they, uh, uh, need to get close to the weight that they're going to step on the scale at. What's really interesting with a lot of people is if someone fights at 122, they don't fight at 122. They step on a scale for a very short period of time at 122. And then they fight at a weight that's a, usually substantially bigger than that. Right? 
So that's the whole thing is like you don't you don't have to make one you don't have to make your weight two weeks two and a half weeks before you fight. You don't have to make your weight a very small uh, window of time before the fight, right? Just to step on the scale at that weight. That's it. It's not like amateurs where you only have like you know you're pretty much fighting at that weight, you know, competing in in the tournaments and stuff. So. I don't know, the philosophy for me is like, you know, always trying to support the fighter in as many aspects of their physical conditioning as possible. First off, she's very nice. She's a very nice person. She's very humble. You know, if you ever met her outside of boxing, Jim, you would probably never guess that she's a boxer, you know, because she's a very, I should say, girly girl, I guess. But uh, when she works, she definitely puts in the hard work in the gym. She definitely pushes herself, and she wants to be, um, uh, she, you know, the best at her game. You know, she trains very hard, and you could tell that when she's getting ready for the fight that she wants to go in there and win. Casey's been looking sharp. Um, I was, has proved a lot, a lot. She, she's tough on herself. She was didn't give no credit to herself on the first fight of her debut, um, and now you just see her. She's, she's amazing. She inspires me, man. She trains harder than I do. Makes me look bad. <laughs> uh, it feels good because uh, she sets a good example for us. She's always working really hard, and that sets that's really good. Two, three. She's looking good. She's been looking a lot better. She's been uh, she's been looking sh uh, sharper, stronger, uh, more confident. Uh, you know she's looking good. She, we, we're about to uh, right now. We're just focusing on, like I said, like on the basics, and then as it gets closer to the fight, we're gonna 
like pick it up and work on other stuff. How you feeling? Good, okay. The mental battle is probably the toughest part of this journey for myself. I am never satisfied with the work I put in. Um, usually I'm like, okay, that was a tough workout, you know, that was a tough part of practice, but I still walk. <laughs> you know, I'm not suffering enough, so it doesn't count. So fortunately I have coaches um, to listen to and to run um, things by. Like, just tell me what to do to save me from myself, so to speak. Um, so I'm fortunate to have like, the best team in the world. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you.